Welcome to the World Sip. Today, we're in the Rocky Mountains, Colorado. We're here at Breckenridge Distillery. They distill a range of spirits at nearly 10,000 feet above sea level. That's taking drinks to new heights. Let's snow check it out. To get the inside story, we spoke with the drinks mogul and king of the mountain himself. My name is Brian Nolt. I'm the founder of uh, Breckenridge Distillery, Breckenridge, Colorado. Surely, Brian, you always thought you'd open a distillery. I never thought I would open a distillery. It didn't occur to me. I had a profession and was pretty miserable in it. I was fishing up high, just below the Continental Divide, fly fishing, standing in the water all day and had just gotten back from Scotland. And I was on cloud nine because I come, you know, smuggled back all these great bottles of scotch. Uh, the idea was sort of born. Then I spent the next year or so uh, reacquainting myself with distillation and and uh, trying to figure out business models and things like that, meeting people, taking courses, reading books. And the next question was where to do it. I love Breckenridge, um, it's a special place. The idea formed here and we have something unique um, in our water source. Oh, hey, assistant distiller Jordan Stilo. Could you elaborate? So distilling here at 9,600 feet does have some of its benefits. We are at the direct source of the water, so we are getting all those minerals coming right off the mountain. Whether you uh, do a mash and fermentation with that water, or even if you just blend with that water, it imparts a huge difference, um, makes a big impact. Great location, great views, great water. There can't be any downside, surely. But the downside oh. of, of being up here is, A, it's we're remote. We're remote, so everything's an extra 10 steps to get it here or get it out of here. So everything costs more. We've had over 200 inches of snow here already, and we're not even, we're a third of the way through the season. Up here, it is a little bit more difficult for aging as it's a little colder, a little drier. Ideally, you do want something uh, more humid and a little hotter. So why would anyone want to live on top of a mountain? They don't live here because they love cold weather. They, they live here because of the insane lifestyle that you get here. Um, this is a small town on the side of a mountain. Um, most of our employees get up in the morning and go ski. You could say the team here in Colorado really are living the high life. The lifestyle of living in the mountains is certainly a little more laid back than it is in, in, a, in a big city. If there's a few feet of powder that fell last night, our day might start at noon instead of, you know, 8, 9 a.m. We'll, we'll work later in the day to make up for it, but, you know, we, we try and take advantage of uh, what we have at our fingertips out here, which is Mother Nature's best. We're all kind of happy living up here. We're not working in cubicles. We sort of have a happy mojo. Just It somehow gets into the bottle. You can have a successful business and be profitable and get what you want out of it without being a dick. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. And now over to Jordan for the tasting. So this is our vodka. Uh, you're gonna get a light, subtle florinals. Other than that, it's gonna be real clean, smooth, round mouthfeel. The vodka is clean, it's sweet. That sweetness comes from the minerality and the way it plays with the corn base of the vodka. And leave just enough bite so you still know it's vodka. Was this designed that you could drink it neat? If you wanna drink it neat, you totally could. Mm. It's, it's could. tolerable compared to you know, what we've all grown up drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Next up is their gin. So we finally made enough money to buy a gin still, and um, the gin released mainly in Colorado um, and became, you know, the number one selling Colorado gin uh, almost overnight, and a lot of people had a big head start on us. All right, gents, this is our Breckenridge gin. What separates us a little bit is gonna be that citrus as well as the floral. We've got some rose as well as some lavender in this. Uh, that's what I'm getting, yeah. Lavender on the nose. Cheers. 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 Yeah, I can see this in one of those big gin and tonic glasses with maybe some lavender in there. And there you go. Some, some dried citrus. Get a whole Bloody Mary sk yeah. skewer yeah, yeah, of florals on there. Yeah. Super over the top, bring all those. Like, maybe some yeah. pine needles fresh from the mountain. Like, this is beautiful. It's a good gin. We then got spicy with the rum. So this is our spice rum. Uh, it was originally only available here at the distillery during the holidays. We can now distribute it nationally as well as available year round. Uh, you will notice though, on that flavor, uh, there's a reason it was available during the fall. Christmas in a cup. That's right. But if you've ever been lucky enough to have, have tried 
a spiced rum made the original way that made it the way it used to be done where um, you take roots, barks, uh, citrus peels and spices and you do a proper maceration. Yeah, that stuff's exquisite. See this in like a hot rum punch. One of those there you go. Kind of cocktail mixes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, could, I could knock a few of those back. This is our Christmas. This is our face. Christmas. Take this home. Happy, yeah. happy Christmas. Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. Does that Merry make Christmas. me Santa? <laughs> but we couldn't leave without a bit of bourbon. Bourbon is our flagship product and um, you know, as, as demonstrated by all the awards it's won and who's, who it's beat side by side. Our bourbon has one of the higher rye mash bills. Um, so with that, you're going to get kind of a uh, unripened banana nose. Uh, with the flavor on the body, you're going to get a spice, kind of a white pepper spice on there. Best bourbon in the world, and we get to taste From it. From IWSC. Cheers. Cheers. Having sampled Breckenridge's finest, we headed out to take advantage of Mother Nature's best and hit the slopes. After shredding gnarly powder all day, we headed to the best bar in Breckenridge, Modis. Welcome to Modis. Thank you very much. Hey, how are we doing? Today I'm going to be making you a smoked old fashioned, and then we get to put a twist on it by actually getting to smoke the cocktail with some aged oak. A couple of smoky old fashions was the perfect way to top our day in the Colorado Rockies. We've had a pretty sweet day in Breckenridge. Distillery, slopes, cocktails, but we should get ourselves to bed via a couple of bars. So we'll see you next time on, on the, the World, World Sip. Sip. I'm out.